Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 22 and uh, chapter 10. In this chapter, we will talk about rotational motion. And there you can see we get a function. This is a theta angle with a time t. So this is a function angle with a time t. And there, the, at every certain time of the t, we get a different angle, right? This is an instantaneous function. For first one, we need to find instantaneous angular velocity. How can we do that? We consider there. If we do the derivation with theta and t, we can get angular, instantaneous angular velocity. So omega equal to d theta dt. Agree? This is winner in test book. And then you just do this uh, derivation, you get function like there. And also, can you find instantaneous ang angular acceleration? Sure, very easy. We still do the derivation, the angular velocity with a t. So there we get alpha equal to d omega dt, then you get the function look like that. So at the, uh, a certain point of the time, can you find the omega and alpha? Sure, you just input the t equal to 3 seconds, input the, in these two functions, then you can get this two answer. The next one, we need to find average angular velocity and average angular uh, acceleration. How can you do that? So first one, we need to find the this two point of the time, right? So at this two point of the time, we can find the corresponding angle. At this two point of time, so we just input the t equal to two in this function, you get the theta. Input the t equal to three second, you get the angle at zero. And then the average angular velocity is used the final theta, final angle minus initial angle divided by time taking. You can get it there. Agree? The next one, you need to find ang average angular acceleration. So we need to find the uh, velo angular velocity at this two point of the time. So the function is there. So you input the t equal to inside, you get the omega there, initial omega. And then input the t equal to 3 seconds in this function. So you can get the corresponding angular velocity at there. And use the final angular velocity minus initial angular velocity divided by time taking. Then you get this alpha angular acceleration. Thank you.